Please enjoy your stay. I am always available should you find yourself in need of hospitality. This planet's not bad, but try and find a bar that's open past dusk. Not going to improve tourism that way. No, sir. You are the first guests to arrive. At least, the first ones invited. <laughs> oh, Hammerlock, you're such a kidder. You know I wouldn't miss this for anything. <sighs> uh, Claptrap, I have a super duper important wedding planner mission for you. I need you to find a, uh, the pearl of ineffable knowledge. Can you do that for me? The whole wedding depends on it. Minion, you want me to save the whole wedding? You picked the right guy! Oh, thank goodness. I am not gonna let anything spoil your big day, Hammerlock. Wait, where's Wainwright? Oh, when he's been such a nervous mess, I've tried to get him to relax, but he insists on dashing about, making sure everything is perfect. But the party must continue. Thank you for tracking all the way out to this frigid wilderness. Winnie will be back soon, and all will be well. Yes, yes, this will be a celebration to remember. Okay, wedding planner powers, activate. We need party decorations, stat, vault hunter, I'm thinking balloons. Get the night started with a good hunting tale. Gather round whilst I recall the time I defeated the Heresian Slitherjaw, armed with nothing but a rotten banana.
opened any good vaults lately? Ah, oh, that sounds great! Love a good murder banana story. But I just remembered one of my many spouses lives nearby, and I want to try and get my guitar back. Oh, but you've only just arrived. Uh, no matter. The banana can wait. And if you see Winnie out there, do tell him to come in from the cold. I upgraded Death Trap to be certified in conflict resolution and lawsuit mediation. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Added a laser, though. Valued, yes. I could not help but overhear your plans. I must caution you against entering the town tonight. Got a thing I have to do for the groom. Top secret, creepy man. Ah, you have a responsibility to assist. I understand. If you must venture outside the lodge, you should know. The people of this town are all afflicted in their own ways. Some might say cursed. You might encounter some strange behavior. Oh, <laughs> I would honestly love to see what you think is strange behavior, creepy man. Do return soon. The Lodge will miss you. this lodge a safe harbor so long as you settle your debts the heart still beats now now we'll have none of that here i've seen such terrible things things you couldn't possibly understand you might be surprised Just outside the wedding venue, Vault Hunter. You gonna wanna see this.
Time soup. Time soup, you say? Care to elaborate? Yes. Let me explain. It all started. Nope, can't do it. I'm out. Okay. Where's your shirt, Pollo? It's cold as the witch's tea out here. Oh, yeah, I can't wear a shirt. See, I actually, like, breathe through my abs, so wearing a shirt would basically kill me. Look, you can just say you're showing off your abs. No need to lie to me. Nah, dog. I mean, the abs are pretty great and all, but look, I don't need this kind of interrogation right now, okay? I've kind of got, like, a lot of my own stuff going on. So I'm gonna go later, dog. I'm here if you need to talk. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. What's all this then? The floor is lava! The floor is lava! Pretty sure it isn't. Unless... I'm lava-proof. It burns! Ouchie! 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 I gotta find somewhere that's not lava! Sure hope you do!
like a man who's not afraid to dance. I can't... I can't stop dancing! Not ever! You're just moved by the spirit, boy! The spirit of dance! Can't stop boogieing! Need trick. Need help getting down. Uh, I, I don't know. I just started falling one day, and now I can't stop. This is a living hell! Maybe you could, like, hold something heavy? But I don't see anything you could use nearby. Sorry, I can't help you. Uh, okay, yeah, I get that. But uh, if you happen to meet, like, a kindly old wizard or something, could you send them my way? Oh, I, I, I love if that happened. And if it does, I'll let him know about your uh, predicament here. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna try to like float back to my house now. Wish me luck. Good luck there, boy. -o. Would you get a lord of this monster? Monster? What monster? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's literally gigantic. How can you miss it? Listen, I don't know who you are, but I don't appreciate you going around making up stories about monsters to scare people. Really, it's so rude. Now, good day to you. Alrighty. I said good day! I, uh... I was abducted by aliens once. All right, I'll bite. How'd it go? Not so bad, actually. They taught me how to play dominoes. Okay. Then what? Yeah, that's really my whole deal. I'm a pretty one-note character, if I'm being honest. Anyway, I gotta go. Huh. Nice fella. couldn't make it, but I hope you have, like, a really special day. Also, Talon says, Scraw! And Bricks just says, HELL YEAH! In big giant letters.
Oi there. Yeah? Well, I didn't want to talk to you either. Man, that guy's cool. How goes it? Oh, me? I'm, I'm good. It's just that, um, see, any time I hear a specific word, I go stiff as a board and fall over. So, whatever you do, don't say the word. I mean, sure. I don't even know the word. Yeah, and we should probably keep it that way, just to be safe. Okay, I just gotta take a guess here. Antiquing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was fun. Hunter, not a moment too soon. I'm as nervous as the last hog in the slaughterhouse. The venue's just gotta be perfect for Alistair. That ginger dynamo of a wedding planner showed me the brochure, but I need to see it for myself. Hell's bells, the gates locked. If I don't see this place with my own eyes, I'm not gonna sleep a wink tonight. Maybe there's a way around. Follow me. Now, I've grown to trust your judgment, Vault Hunter. Can I ask you, is there anything that scares you? Oh, sure. Birds. Any kind. Big, small, live, cooked, doesn't matter. Can't even eat a chicken nugget. Well, I can't argue with that, but those are troubles of the real. 
My feels are more intangible. Alistair, he's a man of adventure. Darren do, he'd say. He climbs mountains and tames jungles and loves every second. But that ain't my vintage. Sometimes I convince myself he'd rather be with someone a little more gung-ho, a little more exciting. Ah, don't mind me. Let's hurry up. Who goes there? Oh, I'd let you in, but I've just seen them there, and I'm satisfied. But if you wait there just a little longer, I should be able to make room for you. Just wait right there. We're burning daylight, metaphorically speaking. There's people in there. Maybe they'll let us in. The renewal! It's happening! Got to get away! Hmm. Strange fella. Let's cut through here. Breaking and entering! I knew this trip would be fun. We ain't breaking anything. We're just entering. And I already paid our deposit, so I'd like to see them keep me out. Infestation. I hope the venue is in better shape than this. I hope this will only take one shot. Kidding. All right, 
That was breaking. Tech's old as hell needed an upgrade anyway. You hear that? What in the blue bayou is going on in there? The heart still beats. The heart still bleeds. The heart still beats. The heart still bleeds. Something's not right here, Vault Hunter. I pledge myself to you once again, my darling Helen. And I to you, beloved Vincent. Githian's renewal is also ours. You and I. My darling, we are eternal. Our worldly troubles shall break like waves upon the rocks. Whatsoever stands in our way, it shall be shattered. Whosoever stands between us, they will be destroyed. I love you, Eleanor. I love you, Vincent. We are eternal. Almost like a wedding ceremony. Hope they don't mind if we take a look at their setup. Locked again. Maybe this one could use some hacking as well. Vault Hunter. I was being euphemistic there. See if you can shoot that archaic locking mechanism they got on the other side. and our bond is renewed. They're throwing people into that pit. Hey, you robe-wearing cowards! Unhand those innocents! What's this? Darling, look. We have someone new. We can play with them after the renewal is complete, beloved. Hear me, my bonded. Take care of these worms. If I have to fight for my perfect venue, then fight I shall.
challenges? Why don't you fight for yourselves? Your costume freaks didn't quite do the trick. Would you look at that, darling? The worms have teeth, after all. You're right, my love. And we haven't had any fun in so very long. Too true, darling. Perhaps this spin vessel still has some spinach left in it. Shall we play then, worms? I'ma break you over my knee, you pale will of brands. You cannot break that, I just tell you.
weirdos off them! Quick and quail! Already I can see into Wainwright's heart. He will make the perfect host. Thank you so much for bringing him to me. Guess I'll give it a whack!
from here. But, uh, I, I think you should talk to Hammerlock. What? My word, Winnie! Get out of... Get out of my... Vault Hunter, what in the devil happened to Wainwright? A bunch of raw-wearing wackos attacked, but we fought him off with style. Wainwright's gonna be fine. Well, thank heavens you were there. Look, he's coming around. Winnie, are you all right? The heart still beats. Winnie, wake up! Oh, Vault Hunter, there you are. I must have dozed off for a moment. Must have been the whiskey. Here, take my shotgun. K-12 
can't trust my hands right this moment. Well, I suppose that's one way to start the celebration. But now, thanks to Gage and the Vault Hunter, it seems everything has settled down. We're back on track, and I'm sure nothing else will go wrong. My esteemed guest, might I have a word? Over here, at the counter. I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe-wearing punks with bad manners, and the Vault Hunter and I had to beat a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. I do hope Winnie is all right. Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Winnie, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit... Uh, sideways. It is as I feared. Another moment of your time, if you would. At the counter. That ring on his finger has powers beyond mortal comprehension. The lodge is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origins. Look for him at his agency, the Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be... comfortable. I do hope when he is all right. I upgrade a death trap to be certified in conflict resolution and lawsuit mediation. Nah, just kidding. Added a laser, though. I do hope when he is all right. Whatever respite the Lodge provides you is only temporary. And while my beloved recovers, I will have to content myself with you. So let's play, Worm.
I roughed up a local priest and he told me the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge was last seen in a haunted shipwreck within the Cavern of Unmentionable Sorrow. Wish me luck! Oh, it's a fight we got now, is it? Nothing like cover when you're getting shot at.
Time to break through. I can crack it now. Not again, and you'll be cursed. I won't tell you how it will happen, or when, or by whom. But know this, the curse will pursue you into the depths of hell and back again, slowly infecting your friends and family and future loved ones. So go ahead, knock again. Please don't talk to me. Every time I speak, I have to... Uh, hold on. Woof! Uh, uh, uh. That's a raw deal there, girl. But while I have you, any idea where Burton Briggs is at? Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. Uh, there we go again. Uh. Much obliged, and thank you kindly. Enjoy hurling your guts out! Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Whoops, I spoke again. Ugh, screw this curse. Oops. Holy crap! You scared the bequeezus out of me. What do you want? Looking for some fella named Burton Briggs. Where's he at? I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate! Look, I saw Burton with... What did you... Did you just... No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Now leave me alone. I'm... What was that? Nothing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Please don't be some kind of weirdo like those other two. Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! Whoa there now! Don't gotta be coming at me like that! 
Just looking to find Mr. Burton breaks us all. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery like an idiot. Now get out of my face. Sheesh. Who put a bee in her bottom? Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! Ah, damn it! Some cover! Oh, <laughs> 
Stop breaking through that. What you hiding?
¡Ves! One for you, one for me. Happy to have you. Hey, uh, you really saved my ass, friend. Thank you. Now, uh, what was I doing here again? Oh, right. I almost forgot that I can't remember him. Name's Burton. Burton Briggs. But I think I go by the bird. Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh... Howdy, Bert. How are they hanging? No, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? Some mad lad dropped a cursed ring that got itself onto me bud Wainwright's finger. I'm trying to figure that whole thing out. Cursed ring? I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded, and I always follow my hunches, I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old, uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Actually, I was enjoying the quiet for a... It all started... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. You're busy. more important you should be doing with your life right now? Whatever.
archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. Only way in is through the old library in Harriet.
shots for your gunshots at Dr. Zen's portable clinic. I've got bullets with your name on them. Well, they that came out wrong. Keep your voice down. This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? No, oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Glad that worked. I wasn't sure if that locket bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The holoprojector will have some info on the town's history.
search log day one. My name is Eleanor Olmsted. My beloved and I have arrived on the rim world of Xylorgos. We have finally found the beast of legend after years of chasing its name across the stars. Gideon. Supposedly it means eater of hearts, but the original language is dead and lost to time. A charming introduction as ever, Vincent, my love. Gideon's physiology can only be described as otherworldly. Though its body is dead, its heart still beats. This requires further study. Who knows what xenobiological revelations it has for us? This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right. It's really hard. 
my middle name. Then Ferocity Flint.
idea what you're doing. You're a fraud. You think you're such hot shit, but you're actually just lukewarm crap. I'm gonna take you down a peg by killing you. That one was Jerry, Lord of Paper Cups and Lemon Juice. Maybe in his foul, stinging works never trouble our shores again. My beloved has made a fascinating discovery. Go on, tell them, dear. I'm thrilled to report. This place is home to a treasure trove of ancient ruins that seem to be from some sort of precursor alien civilization. There are technological marvels inside that mankind has only seen in dreams. This could change everything. 
even more fascinating. My initial studies hinted a link between Githian's eternal life and the technology itself. This will require further experimentation. But do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines we should not cross. It is called the Eater of Hearts, after all. <laughs> Darling, really? You worry too much. Interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, just trying to help. shaft or something you could get into. Always follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do. Repeating yourself, boyo. You already told me that bit. I did? Damn this curse. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. See, I lost my memories. There's a cloud of... Dark fog! Dark fog! See? You what you were gonna say before you said it. Oh, right. Okay. Die in the heart! As it was me! I didn't read the map! Stop back in town for a pint. Hmm. <laughs> 
frappez l'amour. 